overflows. Samadhi of Bridge Mohan Lal, Astral Travel and Astral Presence. After the Sheikh entered into Mahasamadhi, the arrangements were made for the body to be brought from Mumbai to Lucknow. But there was no direct train, so a party of three people from Karnath, my uncle, his, my father, and one more person, three of them, went from Lucknow to the junction station at Jhansi, where the body will be brought by the people from Mumbai and handed over to these people. While they were going, it was a journey was long, so Uncle Onkarnath was a little bit distressed. So while he was sitting on the lower bench, a person came next to him and sat down and he started consoling him just like a father. So after this, the two people who were accompanying him, my father and the other, told him to go and take a rest because he had a long time, long hours. He went to take a sleep. As he fell asleep, he had a vision that the Sheikh Brijmohan Lal says, Why are you worried? I was just sitting next to you and talking to you. He got up suddenly and he came down and asked everyone, the, the people who were accompanying him, if any one of them saw the person who was sitting next to him. Everyone saw the person sitting next to him and consoling, but the train did not stop and nowhere it went, but the person disappeared in the thin air. So it was considered as a miracle. No, this is the normal way of a master to work. What happens in order for the transformation of the seeker, Master uses the astral traveling method. Not that someone comes to me and says, I am doing the astral traveling. This is rubbish. So astral travel means Master has the capacity to allow his energy field manifest on someone that is available at that moment who is open to that, that energy field. So he does make it available. There has been a couple incidences with my uncle Sufi Onkarnath. When someone had told me about this, so I told him that this is the master giving you the message. But he cannot be available to you, so he creates a presence. This similar incident comes in the life of Shirdi Shai Baba. He used to live in a mosque. He had a disciple who was very devoted. He was living almost three miles away from there. Every day he will prepare the lunch and bring it for the master. And sometimes when he comes, the master is busy with his disciples, so he will have to wait. And he will feed the master and then he will go back to his place and have his meals. But he had a vow that he will not eat after sunset. So many times it used to happen that by the time he reached home, it was sunset has already happened and he would not eat. So one day Sai said, you have too much of trouble, so you don't need to come to me tomorrow. I will come instead. It was hot summer afternoon, so now he is very happy that the master is coming to my place. He prepared the special lunches and was waiting for the master. Midday, the master did not come, but a dog came and sat at the door. So he was waiting for his master, Sai, but the dog came and sat down. So he hit the dog with a stick and waited for the master. 
when the master did not come he rushed to him and he said you had told me that you will come but you did not he said i came but you hit me with the stick and at that time during the hot summer there was no nothing else available so i manifested like this is the way of explanation on the dog so he said okay give me a next chance and i will recognize you so next day he prepared the meals now he is waiting for sai to come or the dog to come but neither sai came nor the dog came instead a leprous came his wounds were oozing flies were there and he came and sat down in front of the door and asked for the meals the man did not recognize him because he was able to recognize the master only by the form which is normal you are not familiar with the energy field as sufis call the tawajjuh of the master if the message is coming from tawajjuh from the master or somewhere else. so he chased the man and man went away so he went back again to the master and he said you did not come he said i came he said but i was waiting for you you did not come i was waiting for the dog dog did not come he said a leprous came so i came in that form so god can master can appear in any form if your inner vision is open you can recognize him otherwise not another incident comes in the life of bridge mohan lal once he was sitting that was a normal practice in fatehpur the in the evening he will have the meditation session and after the meditation session in summer it used to be out out outskirts there was a person named shiv narayan um, shiv pratap narayan he was a lawyer by profession so he will come and after the meditation is over the master will remain there to finish his other things which he supposed to do the gaibana tawajjo to the other seekers who are far away and so he will come inside and he will stay until the master comes in and then massage his feet and my mother will massage his head so one day it happened the time passed so my grandmother asked go and see what happened to your father he hasn't come in and everybody is gone she went and she saw she said there are so many people sitting uh, there with the white clothes then it was came to know that the spirits which sufis call as jinn had the used to come to him for spiritual transformation and continuation of their journey so one of his disciple has the uh, wish that master when it is my last moment i wish that i leave the world in front of you so same way on in fatehpur sheik brijmohan lal was sitting in meditation his eyes were closed he closed his eyes and he told babu shri pratap narayan mr shri pratap narayan uh, mr ram gopal is no more and there they everybody felt the master has come in and he said master you have come this was our wish that you will be here at the time last moment so he said today i am in a hurry but you send the message of the other formalities the dates and so according to hindu tradition and i'll come so after some time the message came on such and such date my father passed away and as his was his wish his master was around him so then everybody realized how he was sitting in meditation but the only time he closed his eyes so what happens physical body remains there but through the astral body he manifest energy he manifest on something that gives everybody the impression that the master has come many incidents i can go on explaining on time to time then again it happens when somebody is far away and the person is so much devoted and overflowing love towards the master 
So it is a situation when drop has merged into the ocean, then it becomes the responsibility of the ocean to lend its quality to the drop. So in this way, the, it becomes the responsibility of the master to create the energy field, a presence, a subtle presence around this person so that the person, this subtle presence around that person works like a placenta where the fetus continues to grow. The placenta provides the easy environment for the fetus to move around and grow. So the master creates a subtle presence which is astral presence. This remains 24 hours and it is because of the intense love on the part of the devotee seeker towards the master and his unquestionable love a presence is created. There are certain seekers around me who have felt this presence around them and not only they, not only that person but anybody who is coming to visit that person, the children, the husband, the other persons who are coming, they feel a different kind of an energy field but they do not know. All they say that I feel very comfortable and relaxed in your room, in your presence. It is the subtle presence, the astral presence of the Master which is working in a mysterious way. And this way, the progress of the seeker, the process of transformation accentuates, gains momentum. And what would have taken much longer time to attain to that state, it happens within a short period of time. So this is the two types of astral travel or astral creating the astral presence around a person. Many incidents are there in the life of Brij Mohanlal, which needs to be time to time needs to be shared. When his body was brought, they, there was the railway station at Lucknow, uh, Charbag railway station, all the platforms were open, gates were opened. There was a huge congregation of the people of different faiths, Hindus and Muslims, and the news was published in the local newspaper that Kabir relived. And the lane where they were living in Aminabad, at the lane of um, Jhaus Lane, exact word I do not recollect, there was people all around and in his funeral service there was huge number of people of all different religions, faiths and when his body was brought and coffin was open for the viewing of the person, his body was still warm. So the experience that the body felt for the nirvana or samadhi, it was still vibrating with that warmth and it was there at that time. So such was the few incidents that I have shared, not from memory, because the master is not part of the memory, is part of your consciousness. Memory is of the mind and consciousness is beyond the mind. The energy field is beyond the mind and you have to not recollect, not remember, not memorize the method. You have to live with consciousness, the awareness that master is, the energy field that is very insignia of that particular master that is known as Tavajjo, just or Sulu or any special kind of energy field that he creates around him in order to bring to that he is identified with and that helps the seekers to grow beyond the duality. Enough for now. <laughs>